You talked about, Dr. Kim, that there are already quite some research about the Delta variant and some could be promising. Uh, can you give us some example? Yes, so, uh, and particularly um, the vaccine manufacturers that were first out of the block, mm. those vaccine manufacturers that got vaccines uh, tested and approved uh, late in 2020 and early in 2021, mm. many of them have vaccines specifically against variants. And many of these vaccines appear to have, at least in the test tube, now this, they haven't completed human testing yet, yeah. at least in the test tube, appear to have better activity against Delta uh, than, than the original sets of when vaccines. When you say better and, activity, meaning what? Um, they generate the kinds of protective um, immune responses that, or what we call neutralizing antibody, the proteins that the vaccine induces that bind to and inactivate the virus. Mm -hmm. And those new vaccines actually do a better job against the mutant viruses. Do we know the there number are, in terms of percentage? I uh, know, so at, at this point, almost all the data is based on, on, test, on testing done in laboratory animals and tests in the laboratory, in test tubes. I see. Um, so we don't have human data yet mm. uh, around these new vaccines, but they look very promising. How can we expect a time frame of vaccines coming out that could be effective against the Delta variant? That's a great question. And it's a little bit complicated, mm -hmm. but those, those companies that are working on vaccines now that have vaccines in human clinical testing could have preliminary evidence that the vaccines induce the correct protective responses by the end of this year and the beginning of next year. And I think that from experience, we know how difficult it is to scale up manufacturing. Uh, so those vaccines, even if they're shown to be safe and efficacious, it will be a few months. So again, we're looking at next year before some of the new uh, effective vaccines against variants are going to be able to be uh, widely distributed and used.